the very next day I walked into William's room and I almost had a heart attack. He was eating a cheeseburger and waved to me when I came in. For this miracle, all credit goes to the angels. William was transferred back into hospice inside a nursing home. But William wasn't ready to give up. In fact, William wanted to live even more to prove that he wasn't ready for heaven. And so the fight goes on. Dallas had to find other work because of the circumstances, but that didn't interrupt her love for William. She came and visited William even though she wasn't getting paid, because she truly loved William. One part of the therapy is being in nature and being surrounded by life especially when all you want to do is live. The fresh air, the smell of the flowers, the sun's warmth, it's all part of the healing process. You don't just have one tool in the toolbox, but you have many. And with all the tools, you can rebuild your foundation of health. The therapy and the surroundings have to constantly change. You always have to keep his body guessing. The hard massage loosens up all the muscles. And once the muscles are loose, it's easier for a deeper stretch. Stretching is one of the most important factors in, in anyone's health. To allow all that rich blood to come through and heal your joints from the inside out. Through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Try to, try to suck in that air, smell it. Smell the outside. Smell the freedom. Smell it. Okay, ready? Get a wiggle. Patient has what? Is <laughs> Gotta have patience. Depending on the time of the day, I would feed William. The Parkinson's has affected William's throat. He can no longer have regular food. Everything has to be blended. Even his water has to have thickening agents. Ah, uh, hello. hello. How are you? Is he eating from you? Yes, he That's is. That's very good. When, Wednesday he ate his whole lunch, the whole plate. Oh, you feed him. That's very good. Applesauce and uh -huh. milk, everything. But let me tell you something. You two look alike, very much so. That's true, that's true. <laughs> it's the blood. Yes, it is. I, am, I like to see that, and I'm happy to see you coming and doing that. Mm. That's nice. Because we're not blood related doesn't mean we're not related. Today he took we after we after I rubbed him down outside, we came in, we did a tai chi. He's on tai he does tai chi. He's on 49 movements. He knows 49 movements. So we did tai chi outside, and then we came in and he walked roughly about 50 steps with the walker right out in the hallway. And I would say it was Hello. probably 30 to 40 feet. He did it last week as well. Last week he walked, but this today was the furthest he walked. And constant, he didn't have to sit down. Oh,
How many days a week you can get here? I, I come Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I've been seeing them three times a week since September 20th. Through two different nursing homes, two different hospitals. Wherever he goes, I go. Okay. That's very, very good. That was Moss. Uh, he's uh -huh. habla, habla. Me, I'm Bequito. I, I speak Spanglish. Oh, he speaks Spanish, no? Mm -hmm. Fluent. Me, I, I speak the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> his wife is Cuban. <gasps> and his his uh, his nurse at Dallas is Cuban as well. That's how I learned a little speaky Spanglish. Because the Dallas doesn't speak any English, and my Spanish is, you know, really piquito. Yeah, but they have you too. It was the communication, and communication, and, you know, hand signals. And William and I always have long conversations. In this conversation, he's telling me that he doesn't want to fold it up. And I tell him, you don't have to fold it up. When you're ready... When God's ready, then you'll go to heaven. But until then, you keep on fighting and keep on doing what you have to do. I tell him that his story will inspire many people. Inspire many people to fight for their health. And your fight is going to inspire so many people here. Don't you hear the It's going to inspire so many people. Today is May 29th, 2010. William continues to amaze me. It's now over a month since he's had medicine. Medicine for his edema, Parkinson's, congested heart failure, and the wound on his spine. William now completed the first 49 movements of Golden Breath American Tai Chi. This is a huge accomplishment. William is stepping perfect. Today is the day of all records. When William was living with his nurse at Dallas, he would walk about 20-25 feet. I thought that was phenomenal considering his previous condition. Not only did he beat that record, but he kicked it in the tuchus. The first record was right here at the doorway. And then the next time we had class, he walked to the next doorway. And today, we're gonna walk to the third doorway. I always take William to his fullest potential. Never to the brink of muscle failure, but right before. This way the body is continuously adapting. All the nurses here just loved William. They seen the innocence in his eyes and the love in his smile. And they would always come up and just talk to him, ask him how he's feeling. And to see that genuine kindness is like music to your soul. And when you're fighting to live and you know that people care for you and genuinely just care for you as a human being,